You want to hear a story about how I went to go see the new A24 movie? It's kind of long, but full of suspense. What up, guys? Welcome back to another quick DFC review. Today, uh, out in the wild, haven't done this since probably Christmas, I think. But uh, I just got done seeing At Zola, the new A24 movie, and I gotta say, I quite enjoyed it. I thought it was a blast. Uh, if you weren't a fan of um, Spring Breakers, I don't think you'll like this one. What's up, man? <laughs> All right. Just met a cool dude that had a conversation, just taking a piss in, the, piss in the bushes, so that was pretty funny. Yo, if you uh, follow us or see this video, shout out to you, you're a cool dude, man. I appreciate it. Uh, it's all good that you interrupted the video. It's funny that you were just taking a piss in the bushes. But yeah, like I was saying, um, if you weren't a fan of Spring Breakers, I don't think you'll like this one, because it's like Spring Breakers turned up to uh, the 11, and it's on steroids. I would say this is like Spring Breakers on steroids. Uh, yeah, like I said, great cinematography, great score. There were some great shots. The way they used, like, social media and cell phone ringtones and sounds and stuff like that in the actual movie was really cool. Like, towards the end, there's one part where Zola is uh, turning, trying to call someone, so she turns down the volume, and it turns down the volume of the actual audio of the film, and you just hear her heart beating and the phone just ringing, and... It's just really cool how they use several things like that. And there's another sh shot when they're uh, trapping in the back page part of the movie. And you hear the phone ringing and it's just that vibration and cell phone that you can hear in the audio. A24 just has some great quality shit, man. Like they really know how to like pick directors that can like score and like have great eyes for like just taste and stuff even if you didn't like this movie because you could say it was ratchet or whatever you want to say i didn't think that um you could still appreciate some of the score and some of the cinematography and the way things were shot it was definitely really cool to see um but yeah pretty much it's uh these two girls zola and stephanie and they're taking hoe trips as they would say and it's pretty much that Zola going with them after meeting a day, which is crazy. Yikes, not a good idea. And um, they go to Tampa Bay, Florida, I believe. And they believe they're just going to go out for... Well, Zola, Zola believes they're just going for stripping. But then they turn out to do some back, back page, I believe they call it, which is like a porn... Not a porn, but where you look for sex and shit like that. So they were doing sex work and she was like fuck that uh but yeah i definitely think some of the standouts of this movie before i get going for some of you who don't want to watch too long into the review before i get into a little bit of the spoilers not really uh jonathan the pimp he was fucking crazy he had a great line where he was like they'll fucking come back and they'll slit all our throats and, and fucking zola is like what um dion uh the gang member that derek the boyfriend meets and who would later set up uh, Zola and the crew and try to jack them for their money and their bitches. There's not going to be bitches. There aren't going to be any bitches. Uh, yeah. And then he was good. He, uh, Jason Mitchell, he played Easy e and Straight Outta Compton. He was really good. He was in Kong Skull, Skull Island. And he was in a bunch of other things. Go check him out. He's a good actor. And then Derek, the boyfriend, was just fucking great. I'll put his name right here. Oh, yeah. Look at that wind effect. But uh, yeah, uh, once again, great score, great cinematography, great acting from everyone all around. The girls were pretty solid. Uh, Riley Coole, I think her name is, or Riley K as I'll call her. Uh, she did a great job. She turned that shit up to an 11. She kind of reminded me of um, 
Jamie Kennedy in uh, Malibu's Most Wanted, where he was pretending he was black the whole time and it was just turned up. And you know, everything she said was just really cringe. And you're like, oh God. And even her boyfriend at points are just looking at her. Uh, there's also great scenes where they're just fucking uh, dancing their hearts out to uh, Migos, Hannah Montana. Uh, fucking great. Just like, just shots like that. It's just great, guys. Uh, but yeah. Before I get into a little spoiler reviews for you guys, uh, I definitely give this a solid 9 out of 10. I really did enjoy it. I liked it a lot more than Spring Breakers, and I like Spring Breakers a lot. Uh, but yeah, if you like what you saw here today, fucking go follow our page on Instagram right here. Give us a thumbs up, uh, subscribe, and check us out when we upload the next video. But uh, one, two, three. Let's get into a little bit of spoilers. So yeah. It does not go well. They get into Tampa and she kind of figures out that like this bitch is lying and setting her up. And um, yeah, it's just fucking crazy that this was based on a true story. Apparently, uh, Twitter thread. I read a little bit of it before the movie and uh, I seen a video with the one girl where she was talking about it. So seems pretty interesting that a24 gets a lot of these based on true story movies but yeah it does not turn out as stephanie would say what was going to happen uh they start getting pimped out real quick uh like i said jason mitchell's character comes into play dion uh they're doing this last job and um uh you find out that it's dion and they just grab him and then zola runs down freaking out calls Derek calls jonathan and he's kind of like flipping out like what do you mean why weren't you protecting her and uh they get the fuck out of there and he's like no we can't get the fuck out of there we got to get back up so they run up to the hotel this is probably one of the craziest scenes in the movie uh jason mitchell is like got the shoddy on him and their friends there and somehow he manages uh jonathan to fucking pull a gun on him get the money get them out safe <laughs> And then you just get this one final great scene with all of them where Derek's boyfriend is freaking out. He's like, no, we got to get the fuck out of here. This is not what we signed up for. This is not what you signed up for. This is not what you signed up for. I'm done. I'm going to kill myself. I'm going to... And he goes to run and stops himself. And then he's like, no, I'm not joking. And um, Jonathan's boyfriend is like, no, nah, go ahead, do it. Or uh, girlfriend is like, go ahead, do it. I tell you, she not like a man he fucking jumps and they show it and uh you cuts to black and then you get this fucking great scene of them in the jeep and you hear him crying He's like, hoo, hoo. and she's and uh you hear stephanie like you're my best friend you know that right and then zola's like y'all want to hear a story about how me and this bitch fell out and then you know it has this great all the credits just roll through and it's just b-roll footage of them rolling on a riding on a bridge kind of reminiscent of, of waves from a24 if you've seen that one but yeah guys overall like i said i give this a solid nine out of ten i liked every minute of it i thought it was better than spring breakers and this felt like spring breakers uh fucking on steroids um yeah tyler page riley coule uh jason mitchell the guy who played jonathan and derek's boyfriend all hit it out the park uh, I'm excited for the Green Knight. That shit looks crazy. They actually showed a new trailer before that. But yeah, guys, let me know what you thought. If you've seen Zola or are going to go see Zola. Or let me know what your favorite A24 movie is. I know I'm a big fan of their production company. Shout out to Ben. Thanks to him. All right, guys. Just remember, there is no computer and there is no Betty. BJ Betty, that is. And just remember, if she says, y'all want to hear a story, you get the fuck out of there because it does not turn out good and just remember she also said when she sucks dick she used her teeth way too much so get the fuck out of there man she's gonna scrape that motherfucker right up you ain't gonna have no skin jimbo it's just gonna be bones